Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Tremors, Shrieker Island, starring Michael Gross, John Heater, Caroline Longrish, Cassie Clare, and Matthew Douglas, and directed by Don Michael Paul. Let's just get into this. This is my first viewing of this movie, as it'll be the final time I see the... And now I'm all caught up with Tremors. Let's just see how this goes. Let's get into it. A group of hunters led by Bill are hiding in the trees, shooting a graboid and on an island, and Freddy knows something is wrong when Bill planning with Bill's plan by him timing the graboid up or tying the graboid up. Which wasn't that thrilling which wasn't that thrilling to open in my opinion. Then we move on to a village where elephants and monkeys react to an earthquake, and Jess, played by Caroline Longreach, feels it and wakes up Jimmy, played by John Heater from Napoleon Dynamite. I wondered what happened to him for years, and they witness the hunters, and they know Bill is up to something, and they trespass his area of work, and I don't know if I can connect with these characters, nor do I like them, and honestly, what's John Heater done after Napoleon Dynamite for the last 15 years? I'm absolutely nothing that would really get his um, career bigger and bigger. Even his character was the poorest out of any of them. And it's not as bad as Jamie Kennedy, admittedly. And they... And they witness a shrieker attack of one of his men, and he gets killed. Not Jimmy, but the other guy. I can't take John here seriously in this movie, which is a really big problem. Jas asks Jimmy to call Bert Gummer, returned by Michael Gross, but he suggests calling Travis, who's in Mexican jail, which is hilarious because now we don't have to deal with Jamie Kennedy anymore, but instead we deal with John Heater, and which could have been worse, honestly. Bert is stuck on an island, homeless, and has long hair and grows a beard, and Michael Gross's acting is terrible in this movie. Absolutely frickin' terrible. While Jess visits Bill about the hell he brought on the island. And I thought she was dead in the last in this scene. I thought she was dead in that scene. But luckily, Bill doesn't kill her. Which I think, as a villain, is a mistake. One of Bill's men spies a graboid on the ground and gets killed on the porter potty. Which, unfortunately, reminded me of The Hills Have Eyes 2, which I reviewed recently. And I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. Bert is pissed because Jess, who happens to be Travis's mother, calls Bert to help kill the graboids. And next thing you know, Bert shaves while the others watch Bert's show from part five, which was a nice callback. And Bill comes visit while Bert is learning about the graboid island. And Bert wants to get guns to destroy the graboids, but instead, they're gunless. They have knives machetes, dynamites, and flamethrowers, and they even bring a rifle, which is a gun, as Freddy knows her weaponry. And the editing in this movie kind of throw is kind of throwing me off, as I ar already can't follow this movie very well. They arrive on the island with their weaponry, and find out they're shriekers that they are there as they are bringing a bird to warn them they're shriekers on the island. As they control minds like the, they control Bill's men, as the Shriekers kill them off, which is a new version of the Shriekers, and it reminded me of Predators, the third one, and Jurassic Park 3, where there's a worse Shrieker, and they blow up a Graboid. And as there were four, but now there's two more to go, because they just destroyed one, and, that, and Bill destroyed one earlier, so that's two more to go. And one gets on the, to the island, and Bill refuses to stop hunting, and points his gun of, at Bert. And one of his men shoots Bert in the stomach, which, that's a mistake. And they take over camp, and Bill reminds me of what Josh Lucas' character is in Ford vs. Ferrari, or Ang Lee's Hulk. Where the character doesn't know what he's doing exactly, and it's a typical villain cliche. Bill and his group waste the bullets which reminds me of the first Predator when they blow up the trees, 
And why am I comparing this to other movies? Like, I saw Predator 1 and 3, and I saw Jurassic Park 3, and even to Ang Lee's Hulk. But I'm sort of seeing the other Tremors, which make which makes this unoriginal. A queen graboid kills Doc, who was with Bill, and Anna betrays Bill, so it's just Bill and Bowtie left. Ooh, I was introduced when an apple gets hit on this. Well, when she shoots an apple on his head, Anna does. As Anna joins Bert, and this thing is falling apart as it's reminding me of other movies. Bert's group retaliates to kill the green graboid, and they blow it up as well and say there's one more to go, which is convenient. Bowtie gets killed, and Bill doesn't seem to care as Bert tries to talk some sense into Bill, but Bill gets killed, which is a cheering moment in my opinion. Bert's group splits up as Jimmy goes with Bert, and and Jimmy is afraid to die, but goes with the badass style, like Freddy suggested, and to go Rambo style, and they go to a cave and mud up so the Shriekers don't see them, which is a weird but interesting choice, I guess. The Shriekers attack Bert, Bert and Jimmy, and Jimmy kills one with a chainsaw while Bert kills one with a machete. And this is when the movie start, stops falling apart and gets sort of better for me. As Bert uses the flamethrower and Jimmy puts a chainsaw in a Shrieker's mouth and cuts him up. And the line saying, Bert says some groaner line like, who needs a gun? Who needs guns when you have the when you got Pennsylvania steel, which is ugh terrible. Bert and Jimmy arrive to the island to find a graboid twelve feet under them, and they don't move. And this gets intense as the graboid wants Bert as it goes to Bert for Bert, re and reaches for the corner. And Jimmy gets to Bert and sticks with him, and Bert stomps on the ground and gets the graboid. To the corner as it eats Bert and the rest of the group blow it up to hell and Bert is killed by the graboid and blowing it up as they have a funeral which is reminding me at the end of Logan with Wolverine's death but the climax is, was intense but unfortunately I didn't care at this point I wasn't sad or anything but I just didn't care now it's time for the rating I'll give this movie a 4.6 out of 10 the characters are not that great as dealing with John Heater, which could have been worse in my opinion. At the one hour mark, it starts to fall apart, but the last 20 minutes sort of picked it up. And I liked the intensity of it. It was reminding me of the other movies I brought up, which isn't a good thing to remind people of other movies, but is this a sequel worth... Is this sequel even worth it? Hmm. This is going to be a hard one. Not really, to be honest, because I just didn't like this movie. But I, but the, was the series worth it? Other than the first two, not really. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for the Tremors series. And until whenever there's a next one, it's time to shoot some Graboids.